Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wahawakakwadash, Barakatham. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who taught me this truth, and who most definitely labor in this word. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you, Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news and all truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos slash Hispanics, you so-called Native Americans slash Seminole Indians, as well as you Israelite foreigners that have been scattered across the four corners of the globe that may look like one of the other 17 heathen nations. But if your bloodline goes back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino, a so-called Native American, then you are in fact and indeed an Israelite. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the Akwaf and the children that believe on the name of the Lord Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. So it's the brother Karat Tazad and I'm back with another video epistle, Lord willing, it's edifying to those of you who may come across it. All right, and it's another King James Bible Online verse of the day for Monday, November 23rd, 2020, the year of prophecy. And it comes to us out of the book of Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 22. And it reads, lying lips are an slakia. Lying lips are abomination to the Lord Yahweh, but they that deal truly are his delight. The Heavenly Father Yahweh by Shem Shai hates the liar, man. All right. And it's uh, recorded several times in the scriptures. All right. The heavenly, it's, it says that the lying lips are abomination to the Lord, Yahweh, but they that deal truly are his delight. So, you know what? Let's get the uh, let's get the definition for the word abomination. All right. And we're going to use the uh, my sword uh, Bible app. Uh, let me see here. The book of Proverbs. Chapter 12 in verse 22. And let's get the biblical definition. All right. So let's read it again. Lying lips are abomination to the Lord Yahweh, but they that deal truly are his delight. All right. So uh, let's see here. Um, this is going to be uh, H 8441, which I see 144 in that. I'm sure you do too. Uh, and let's click on it. What is an abomination? A disgusting thing. Abomination, abominable, man. Because when you lie on people, man, you can get a person killed. All right? Hey, what? They tried to get uh, Susanna killed, all right, by lying on her in uh, the Apocrypha. All right? Let me see if I could uh, find that real quick. Uh, bear with me. I, can, I believe it's Susanna. Uh, we're about to see. I'm flipping through my hard sword. Uh, so it would be around like Bill and the Dragon. You know, those uh, stories. Salakia so like Akia. But yeah, they, they, matter of fact, we could do this. <laughs> I'm flipping through my hard sword. Uh, let's see here. Uh, bear with me. Con, Susanna. They, they, it, 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 in your apocrypha, if you read Susanna chapter one, which is only one chapter, it has 64 verses. Uh, they lied on Susanna. So, you know, those two, uh, priests. So, you know what, uh, that was to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. It was a disgusting thing, abomination, abominable, in ritual sense of unclean food, idols, mixed marriages, and ethical sense, wickedness, man. So we're not to lie, all right? We're not to lie on brothers, all right? Hey, if you having a situation with a, with a brother, hey, just deal with that situation. Head up. Don't lie on a brother or anyone for that matter just to get your point across. All right. Just to prove uh, uh, to, to make you come out on top of a situation, man. All right. So with that, let's uh, grab some more precepts. All right. This time we're going to and we're going to grab it out of here, too, because I want to get a definition. This time we're going to grab the book of Psalms. 
Let me close this out. Um, okay. This is going to be the book of Psalms, chapter 5 and verse 6. Uh, yep, and it reads, Thou shalt destroy th them that speak leasing. The Lord Yahweh will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. All right. Let's read this again. Psalms chapter 5 and verse 6. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. Now, what is leasing? I didn't know what it meant before I, when I was preparing to uh, do this lesson. I, I, I had to look up this definition, so I'm going to share with you. It's H3577, all right? The H standard for Hebrew because this is in the Old Testament. And it's kazab, kazab, a lie, untruth, falsehood, deceptive things. So, like, these younger, these... Uh, the younger, uh, which I like to respectively refer to as the GMO crack baby generation, all right? They like to use a word called cap, all right? They need to start using this cap, no cap, no cap mean I ain't lying, all right, to the GMO crack baby generation. But they could use this word, leasing. No leasing, no leasing means don't lie. No lying, I ain't lying. All right, leasing means a lie, untruth, falsehood, deceptive thing. All right, so let's grab another precept. Uh, this time we're going to go to the book of Isaiah. Um, let me see here, chapter 9 and verse 15. And it reads, the ancient and honorable, he is the head. And the prophet that teacheth lies, he is the tale, all right? And that's just like the, the uh, last shall be first and the first shall be last, all right? Hey, you you, you uh, false prophets, all right, in the nation of Israel, all right, as well as just you false fake Christian uh, pastors and prophets, hey, you're going to, you're in front now, you getting, you got lots of followers, you get Lots of money with lots of followers come lots of uh, money. All right. But guess what? In the end, let's read this again. Isaiah 9 and 15. The ancient and honorable, he is the head. And the prophet that teacheth lies, he is the tail. All right. Verse 16. For the leaders of this people cause them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed. So not only are the prophets, the false prophets going to be destroyed, but all the gullible that follow up behind them are going to be destroyed. Why? Well, let's get it. It's real. It's this is simple, man. This is simple math. A math truth. And I never was really good at math. Uh, let me see here. This is going to be the book, yeah, here we go. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. If you don't got the knowledge of this truth, all right, then you're going to be destroyed. Because if you don't got the knowledge of this truth, you're not going to know not to take the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. You're not going to know to not take this vaccine, this vaccine, rather. Uh, you're going to be destroyed, Okay. For just for having a lack of knowledge. So with that, we can grab one more uh, precept. Then we'll close out. Lord willing, this video was edified to those of you who may come across it. This is going to be the book of Revelation. All right, chapter 21. And we'll grab verse 8. And we can close out. And it reads, But the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and the murderers and the whoremongers and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars. <laughs> all right. It says, all, not a few, but all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. All right. So with that, once again, I want to say, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wahawah, Kakodash, Barakatham. Once again, I want to get double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, who labor in this word, and who taught me this truth. 
And once again, I want to give a sincere peace, blessing, and salutations to all you Akim that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news in all truthfulness and sincerity. So with that, I want to say a ball, 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 and shalom.